Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video with me. As you can see, we have, well, banners showcasing the brand new <laughs> Milane uh, Gacha already. And of course, we definitely want her costume because she looks fantastic um, in Min Mei's Do You Remember Love outfit itself. If you guys have not seen what her CG character looks like, um, it is ex exceptionally astonishing. So let's dive into the gacha banner and take a look at the costume itself. So we can tap this and we can see a rendering of the costume on Milane already. Although it is not the best high definition quality as you can see it's a bit pixelated. Um, I exceptionally love the twirl in the hair uh, reflecting in how Min Mei is like. She always has curls in her hair. Uh, very very nicely done. If you have seen the opening cinematics for the introduction of the costume itself, you have probably known how well done her uh, character design for this particular costume is. Um, it is fantastic. Um, definitely not the usual Milan um, that we've definitely seen or recognized as um, throughout the whole Macross 7 generation of series and movies. So yeah. Um, Alright, so let's dive into the main plate itself to see whether it's actually worth your money to fully toss in all your singing stones uh, as compared to Basara's episode plate. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so as you can see on the last tab here, no special notes attached to the plate. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, the four divas equipable with this episode plate, of course, um, Min Mei is one of them definitely because, well, her face is there. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty surprised that Cheryl is one of the four. Um, didn't accept, I expect Cheryl to be able to equip with Min Mei or Milane as, um, I don't know, spirit diva if you want to call it that. So, yeah, because Cheryl doesn't give off the vibe of Min Mei and uh, Milane. Maybe Milane's um, feisty side, I guess. Uh, okay, so 3,322 total, focusing on soul, just like Basara's. A bit on the charm, exactly like Basara's as well. But let's take a look at the skills to see whether she can actually um, be on par with Basara's episode plate. So immediately we notice that the center skill is not of an S rank, but that's okay. Unit soul is increased by 60%. Basara's was 90%. So this is already a bit of a downer. Alright, so active skill. For 20 seconds, well, basically you will have an easier time tapping notes. So her active skill is definitely um, usable for practicing songs that are a bit difficult for yourself. Or basically trying to get a full combo um, for missions and other kind of stuff. So her active skill is on the... I would say um, decent level. It's not exactly the most fantastic, especially if you're a high score achiever, that kind of thing. But if you're if you're just playing Utah Macross on a casual base, um, Milane's episode play is definitely gonna be very helpful to you if you need practice and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so life skill at the 48 second mark for 16 seconds, your life will be decreased by 20 um, for every second. Then of course it will be boosted by 100% up. So definitely in terms of life skill support, uh, Milane's plate is definitely looking towards um, being a better support plate than rather uh, active center episode plate. Um, but she, she is pretty versatile in terms of that sense, but it seems like overall Basara's episode plate is definitely better than Milane uh, because Basara's plate is definitely used for a high score purpose which most of the events require so yeah high score plates are usually the um, higher tier level of episode plates I would say but of course we definitely need a full range of um, supportive life skill episode plates like Milane's as well um, Milane's well this episode plate is definitely a first of its kind uh, considering that Milane doesn't have an episode plate that has a life skill of 100% boost so this is the first for her so I would definitely say that this is Milane's um, best support episode plate so Milane fans definitely you will want to get this episode plate 
um, in, within your collection itself of course the episode plate image is definitely lovely as well um, of course if you're not a fan of Min Mei then of course you can just block it out <laughs> all right so um, the rest of the episode plates are pretty um, meh I would say um, then of course we have the exclusive plates here um, pretty fantastic I, I really like this one um, on how it is um, illustrated you know the composition and all this is pretty nice um, with all the lighting on Milane's face because of the the, the firing from the um, the mech at the background that kind of stuff so yeah anyway guys I have 2000 stones I am not gonna throw the entire 2000 stones into this banner in fact I'm just gonna use a single um, template pool which is 500 singing stones uh, I'm gonna toss in maybe another thousand singing stones onto Basara's um, banner because well I really really want Basara's episode plate I really need I really need a good um, star slash yellow singing uh, sorry episode plate that with with a very good center skill ability so yeah um, although I don't really need the points for Basara's costume because I'm pretty close to unlocking it but of course I would definitely love to have uh, more uh, costume points towards Milane's costume because her episode or rather her costume is really exclusive to this gacha banner you have no other way to get the costume unless you toss in a lot of episode orbs so yeah that's gonna be really painful so anyway guys hopefully my luck for Milane's gacha will be pretty awesome so here we go uh, if not, at least give me one or two episode plates that has her costume points attached to it so that I can toss in my episode ops. Um, yeah. Alright, we do get quite a bit of loading bar, so hopefully that's a sign of good luck. <laughs> uh, here we go. One, two, three. So, three planes. We might not get a six star. But as long as we get a few red boxes, that's fine. So we do get two red boxes. Uh, right, we're gonna skip all the common stuff. So straight away, we do have nostalgia from the first plate. Uh, all right, we get Mirage. That's pretty fantastic. So the red, first red box, no evolution. Oh, we do get a very, very rare um, four-star plate. Now, these Macross 7 plates are only found through these paid gachas there's no way to obtain the, these episode plates other than this way so yeah all right let's skip all the common stuff we do get a few of the new plates though so that's pretty fantastic here we go the last red box so no no evolution of the plate um we do get um you know more copies of the four star there we go we do have the costume added to the inventory probably gonna have to toss in a whole ton of episode orbs just to to unlock the costume and there we go i get a fully evolved uh episode plate for what's his name again <laughs> i can't recall um shoot i really really cannot re ray ray yeah i just recalled ray <laughs> ray from my cross seven yeah so if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have our singing crazy boy Basara. So yeah, so <laughs> fantastic stuff. Um, yes, I think this is the only costume plate that we have for Milane, so that's kind of sad. Um, so nothing fantastic from Milane's gacha. Uh, probably all the bad luck has gone to that side. Hopefully I do get um, good luck with Basara's um, banner. I really really want the episode plate, so here we go guys. Hopefully we do get it. Uh, considering that the bad luck has really gone to Elaine's banner. Here we go. Oh my goodness, and I just... I jinxed myself, didn't I? <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness. This is terrible. Horrendous. Okay, we're gonna skip all the common stuff. What is with the gacha pools recently? Ooh, this is ridiculous. Alright. 
saving the best for last, I guess. So no evolution. Okay. Okay. Um, I just realized uh, in my last video, I said that this was a new plate. Actually, it was an old plate. But yeah. Considering that they, <laughs> they are wearing the costume for the event itself. Um, the plate actually gives off points for Reyna's costume. So um, yeah, I thought it was a new plate, but actually it was an old plate. So, <laughs> Alright, so we do have horrendous luck on this one as well. Hopefully the last one will prove me wrong, I suppose. Um, I really, really hurt to see all the singing stone go to waste like this. Alright, here we go. Last pool of the day. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what is going on with... Oh no, this is horrendous. Seriously, Dana? What is with your gacha rates? This is terrible. So... I really don't feel like this ju justifies the um, the money spent into the gacha itself. Um, although the singing stones were on discount. Okay. Uh, I think this is a new place, so that's not too bad. So do we get a banner to say that we've fully unlocked Basara's costume? There we go. So I do have enough points for Basara's costume. I don't know whether I'll have enough points for um, Milane's costume on with episode op. So, okay, let's go find out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and unlock both costumes at one go. Hopefully, we do. Um, I'm gonna use this. There we go. So I don't know whether we. This is gonna hurt because the amount of episode plates we have for this costume is just one. It's gonna hurt real bad. I actually intend to save my episode ops for another Ranka costume just in case. But it seems like that's not going to happen. Okay, I do have 9 large orbs though, so... Ah, that's gonna hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna use the tiny ones first. Just to reduce the pain, because the large episode ops are pretty hard to come by. Okay, um, I think it's a bit pointless to use the small ones, so here we go. Ouch, 7 out of 9, okay. Here we go, so we do unlock Milane's costume. There we go, so Milane's costume. Okay, so we can go and unlock Basara's one now. Um, very, very painful unlocking. Um, hmm. Okay, there we go, Basara's. Uh, oh, we do get two plates to have points for it. Okay, so that's not too bad. So I can actually slack on the event right now because my... <laughs> uh, I guess all my requirements are completed thanks to the banner I suppose. Uh, but I do want all the medals for exchange so I guess I'm gonna have to play a bit more. There we go, we get the costume unlocked. Fantastic. Okay, so hopefully with these two costumes, my high score for the event might go up. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I am definitely going to do a recording of, um, well, the current event song with Basara and Milane in their event costumes. Uh, I'm going to have the video uploaded on Macross Space Time The Culture, so guys, 
Um, if you guys have not joined us there, please join the group. Make sure you answer the questionnaire before joining the group. If not, no admission will be granted. Guys, we are very strict on that. Let me remind you. So, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, found all the information uh, useful as you always. And hopefully you guys have way better luck than I do. This is just horrendous. Um, three pools in a row and nothing fantastic. Uh, in fact, it's not just three pools. It's a few considering that how many videos ago I've been doing. Um, the whole 2019 has been a bit on the gamble, I guess. Um, a lot of my pools have been horrendous at the beginning with visuals, visually horrendous. And of course, sometimes uh, we do get some kind of miraculous luck. But still, on an average, it has been really below the, um, the accept acceptable range. So yeah, guys, hopefully you have been having wonderful luck in 2019 so far. We are entering into the February uh, period already and yeah, things are not doing well for my side. So <laughs> guys, uh, just a reminder as well, um, it is actually the 26th of January 2019. So I will be closing the um, giveaway for the um, all the Macross goodies um, for Macross Space Time The Culture and of course um, the uh, benchmark of 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel as well. Guys, you have up to 3 p.m. Singapore timing, so GMT plus 8 hours. Um, 3 p.m. As of this time that I'm recording, it is now 1.41 a.m. on the 26th of January 2019. So I will be doing the uh, giveaway announcement at 3 p.m. today. So uh, if you want to catch the announcement live, it will be on Macross Space Type The Culture Facebook group. Uh, make sure you join us there as well. And of course, make sure you like my YouTube uh, Facebook page, Silent CL. Um, all the links are in the description down below. Let me know if you found everything wonderful. And of course, uh, you know, by hitting the like button. If you dislike all the information I shared, let me know by hitting the dislike button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!